Good morning, John. In 2008, when we were still in our first year of making YouTube videos on the Vlogbrothers channel, I decided that it would be funny if I anagrammed the names of the presidential candidates, and now we are nearly in 2012. And oh my goodness, there are more candidates. And so I wanted to see what mysteries the magic of anagramming could tell us about this year's Republican presidential hopefuls. Let's start out with the surprisingly successful Ron Paul. Short names are nice, but often you don't get a lot of choices. But we've got a great one here, Our Plan. Which I like because a lot of the members of the Occupy movement, people are like, what's your plan? Well, Ron Paul is their plan. Ron Paul, Our Plan. Rick Perry. It's really hard not to immediately go to prick here, but then you're kind of left with a meth and there's not really much you can do with it except a little bit of pirate slang. Yar! Prick! Which I think is pretty much what any pirate would say if he saw the advertisements that Rick Perry was running in the Bible Belt. Herman Cain! I know he's not technically hoping for anything except for some good money, either at think tanks or commentating on Fox News. But it's such a good anagramming name, I couldn't leave it alone. Now we have Canine Harm. And while, you know, Herman Cain, obviously not good at being married, I don't think he's a dog abuser. So let us instead go with Inane Charm, which I think pretty much encapsulates his entire campaign. Michelle Bachman. I couldn't find anything good here, unfortunately, and I think that's probably because I was focusing too hard on finding something that had maniac in it. Mitt Romney. Now, not my merit would probably be a pretty good one for Mitt, but instead, I think I'm gonna go with Yo, Mr. Mitten, because I've decided that I'm calling him Mr. Mitten from now on. Tim Paulinty. He also dropped out early, so I'm gonna go ahead with Latent Wimpy. John Huntsman, and despite the fact that he's behind a lot. I wanted to include him because he's pretty much my favorite of the field, but there aren't many good anagrams, but we do have John's Math Nun, and I'm good with John's Math Nun. Rick Santorum, which anagrams, amazingly enough, to Rick Santorum. You don't have to do anything to his name to make it funny anymore. Newt Gingrich was an interesting challenge. See, immediately I saw that the word right was in there, and not long after I found wing, and I'm like, right wing is in Newt Gingrich's name? That seems very Tom Marvel riddle to me. But then we got these leftover letters, I don't know what to do with them. Until you put in his middle name, which is Leroy, surprise, and what do you get? Right wing Cylon, with some other letters left over, but right, really? I'm genuinely freaked out. And so there you have it. Now we know. We have our plan. We have Mr. Mitten. We have a right-wing Cylon. Who would you rather vote for? And scene. So a new thing. I've had a different poster there every day for like a year. So I've, I've auctioned off all of my posters for the Project for Awesome. Raised a bunch of money. But now what we're going to do with those posters is we're going to send them to the most interesting comment. Now a lot of people say, just leave a comment and you'll enter the contest. I don't want it to be flooded with just people who are like, I want a poster! The most interesting comment, as judged by me, will get the poster that is on the wall for that video. And I will, of course, only be looking for the first 24 hours or so. We'll send that most interesting person a YouTube message, you send us your address, we'll send you the poster. Yay! We get more interesting comments, you get a poster, I don't have to have them lying around my office, everybody wins! John, thank you for being great, for drawing Sharpie all over your face and charity, and I'll see you on Friday. Hopefully by then you will have the results of the Project for Awesome voting, and we will know which charities are getting this huge hunk of money that all of us together raised. DFTBA. I just realized I spelled Rick Perry's name wrong. I don't care.